Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video I thought I would begin my awesome window manager series. Uh, so in the first video uh, I'm going to show you how to install awesome window manager and also how to set up uh, a particular layout called Treesome. So at the beginning, uh, before you install anything, you just open up a terminal and then you just type in, if you're on Arch, uh, again, any all the stuff that I'm going to show you in these next few videos will be transferable depending on whatever distro you're on. So if you are on Arch, you just do sudo pacman-s and then awesome. And then there's a library called Vicious, uh, which just helps with a bunch of widgets out there and like the clock and a whole bunch of stuff, but it does not come pre uh bundled into the awesome so you just have to get that separately so you're gonna spell vicious which is v-i-c-i-o-u-s hit enter type in your password and then click yes so that is installed so if you do not use a, a display manager or a login manager uh, and just use the xinit rc uh, you're going to have to change something in there, so let's just go into our xinitrc file. I have it uh, as an alias. So under the executables, where you're, I have my i3 here, we're just going to, uh, you know, comment that out, and then you just want to do exec space and then awesome. So that will automatically start awesome if you log out of i3 or whatever, or if you just reboot, uh, it will stop. It will start up the default awesome. So also, this is not. You don't really have to do this, but I prefer to uh, start some applications uh, through my Xinit RC. You can start them in awesome, which I can show you uh, in a future video but I just like to do my volume icon, my network manager applet, and then my Dropbox. So once that's done, just save it, and then you're just gonna sign out, and then you can just sign back in or just reboot. So, so when you start up Awesome again, this is what you're gonna get. So except for this part here, unless you started some applications in your XNIT RC file, um, so that's what you're going to see here is just a generic looking awesome, uh, f you know, wallpaper, which you can change through nitrogen, which, uh, if I open up a terminal here, I go nitrogen and I just hit apply. And now that's where we get, uh, the one that we just had. So we're going to be able, so the next thing I was going to tell, show you guys how to what how to uh, install is Treesum. So now Treesum was developed by a gentleman through GitHub that uh, it's open Firefox here that um, has the same functionality, same key bindings as the i3. So you can split it horizontally and vertically. So this is these are the steps. Now I already did this. Um, so all you're going to do is hit get clone and then treesome. Now also uh, you're going to want to go into your local uh, into your RC file but by default the RC file dot Lua is actually in the Etsy slash XDG slash awesome slash RC dot Lua. You can leave it there if you want but uh, I prefer and other awesome window manager users prefer it to be in your dot config slash awesome. Uh, that is where the treesome is actually located too. So you're going to get uh, clone this git and then and it's, it's going to go into the dot config awesome and then treesome. So if we go into my Thunar, my file manager here. We're going to go in here, config, 
and then awesome and then here's the treesome with its dot git has its init.lua uh, lua the layout icon and then here's the main rc lua so we're just gonna just go into that really fast so we're gonna open up my urxvt and we're gonna open up gedit here uh, just that uh, I prefer it config awesome dot rc dot lua now for those who don't know uh, awesome is written in lua so once you have uh, gotten into your rc lua all we're gonna do is follow this so you're gonna add this line to uh, to the beginning so it's gonna be local treesome equals required is treesome so let's go into here so I put it on the end so the local treesome equals required and then this so they just follow so you're gonna go all the way down to local layouts equals so we're gonna go back here and then just scroll down until you see local layouts equals so you can have this in your very first uh, your very first uh, layout that you want or you can have it anywhere so uh, make sure you just put uh, treesome and then the comma and then it will also read these and then the second thing this is an optional um, is that you can use the mod key slash V and H to move it vertically and horizontally so if we go back here uh, you're just gonna scroll all the way down till you see uh, key bindings right here now I put this uh, you can put this anywhere underneath this um, but I put it under uh, the standard programs uh, so it's gonna be awful dot key and then the mod key which by default is the Windows key and then V and then H and then make sure you also if you do put this between two programs like this like the prompt the menu bar make sure you have commas on both of them because it will air out and you will have to fix it uh, so there you go uh, you can we'll be able to change some of these around in a future video so we'll uh, I have this installed so save let's get out of this and then exit and then as you can see here here's the treesome uh, logo here so if we do a mod V you can see it split and then the mod H you can see that split there too and then mod H so you can see the difference uh, uh, so you can see how you can split these up now uh, I will also show you guys uh, in the next video on how to eliminate gaps if you want to uh, if you know if you followed any of my other videos I do not like apps I feel like they're a waste of screen real estate so uh, in the next video uh, we're gonna sh I'll show you how to get your D menu if you have that installed uh, how to do that and then also we're gonna change the mod key from the Windows key to the alt key and then we'll change some of the other key bindings because uh, by default if I do a mod, mod shift Q it will exit out of my whole awesome uh, so I don't like that I usually just uh, like the mod shift Q to exit out of the program because by that the default is mod shift C and uh, I just don't understand why the C so uh, stay tuned for the next uh, video in this uh, we have plenty to do uh, and then I will bring Morningstar from the LDC uh, to help us uh, do the theming up on top here so I will catch you guys next video